So one of the funny things that happened this year is we had a row of parking spots labeled cast one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Etc. And so, you know, on the call sheet, everyone has their number that they're assigned to. I don't think it was necessarily meant to say, oh, cast parking number one is for number one on the call sheet, but that's kind of the way it all played out. And so, Joe is number one on the call sheet, and Daniel Gillies is number two. And every now and then, Joe would pull up to work and Daniel would switch the two signs so that number one is in Daniel's spot and number two is in is in Joe's spot. And then a couple days later, Daniel will come into work and and Joe will have put like barricades and yellow tape and cones up around his spot and so that Daniel can't park there. And it just went back and forth and back and forth. Um, and then the writers got in on it and started um, deciding, you know what, if, if we're going to be doing who's number one and who's number two and play that whole game, then we think everybody should have their own assigned spot and it should be their nicknames. And so we sat around a nice boozy dinner one night and tried to think of the best nicknames for everybody. And uh, I think it went over pretty well at first. And then after a while, we, we heard, the, the actors are wondering if we can uh, put the cast numbers back. <laughs> But we had a lot of fun trying to figure out who should, uh, you know, what everyone's parking spot should be. And for Joseph, it was the People's Choice because he had just won his People's Choice Award. Um, for Daniels, it was to be written because Daniel likes to rewrite his own lines. Um, so we thought that we'd give him a little poke there. Um, for, you know, Davina was little D and there were, you know, little and, and Haley was Mama Wolf. So there was there were fun little moments had there. Every year on the originals, we try to make sure that 99.9% .9 of our titles have a direct link to something having to do with New Orleans. And so my favorite one from this season is actually the first episode because it's a very, very simple word and perfect for what was happening in the episode itself, which is rebirth. But it's also a very, very popular and well-loved brass band from New Orleans that performed in our pilot episode. We hired them to be in the second line parade um, when the show first aired. And I had seen them play at a small little small little jazz club on Frenchman Street when I was in New Orleans on one of my research trips. And it just felt so exciting to not just put them in the show, but then name an episode after them.